All right, good evening, everybody. This is a um, video just to, to try to guide you along on some of the proofs for section 4.6. This is problem number 12. You are trying to prove that those two angles are congruent, angle UTS and angle VRQ. So basically, to show those two angles are congruent, you need to show these two triangles congruent, triangle UTS and triangle uh, VRQ. So if you can show those two triangles congruent, you're going to have the corresponding angles be congruent. So we're going to focus in on, we need to get those two triangles to be the same. Now, to get there, get rid of those lines, try to keep the picture slightly clean. All right, you are given uh, two sets of parallel lines. You do have segment RS congruent to um, TQ. So with these parallel lines here, and here, you do have alternate interior angles. You're going to use those. Maybe not yet, but you are going to use those. Now, you also know these lines are parallel. RS is parallel to QT. So with those being parallel, if you look at QS as a transversal, you've got some alternate interior angles here. This angle TQU is congruent to angle uh, RSV. All right, so there's a pair of angles. Now, with, um, let's go back a little bit. You have this green angle now, and this one here, I'll put double dashes, those angles being congruent. You know it's a linear pair at, uh, at this angle, at the point U, you get this linear pair you got a linear pair here also at vertex V. Because of those two being congruent, and they're both supplementary to these other angles, that forces those angles to be congruent. All right. Now, what you have is um, congruent triangles. You have triangle. Q, U, T, congruent to triangle, let me try to get the right order here, S, V, R. Those two triangles are congruent because of angle, angle, side. With those triangles being congruent, that gives you segment um, Q, U, congruent to segment S, V. Okay, that's a key part. This is by corresponding parts of congruent triangles being congruent, CPC, TC. So now let me clean up this picture a little bit. Okay, you now have SV congruent to QU. With those segments being congruent and segment UV being the same segment, if you do some segment addition postulate, you have segment US and segment QV. The outer parts, QU and SV are congruent. You add in UV, now you've got QV congruent to SU. Because, um, those first two triangles were congruent here, the angle or triangle QUT congruent to triangle SVR. Also by corresponding parts, do you have segment UT congruent to um, segment VR? So, picture's getting a little bit confusing in here, but you have all these different parts. Okay, I'm gonna draw these things separately. This is Q. R, V. This one down here, this is U, T, S. All right. With the segment addition postulate, we said that U, S, and Q, V were congruent. Earlier, we had said that angle U was congruent to this angle here in um, the triangle, triangle V. That was this one here. 
All right. Now, we also had segment UT congruent to VR by the corresponding parts. So now if you look at it, we have side angle side for these two triangles. Now that you have these triangles congruent, um, then you can use the corresponding parts. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here for this problem, but all the pieces are there. You're just making a bunch of links to that. I hope this helps.